answer a few fan questions. Now, your biggest fan in the world, or one of your biggest fans, is, is Excess that? for Zever. And he's in Texas. And he asks... What's his real name? His real name is Carl. Oh, Carl. Okay. Is there anything you would have changed about your character? And... Yeah. More to the point, if you could play director, what would be something you would change about the, the series and how it relates to your character? Well, I mean, to be honest, I have total control of my character. I mean, no matter what the lines were that were given to me, still it's up to you, like, how you really work with those lines. So I could say, uh, boy, it's hot out here. You could say, boy, it's hot out here. Or you could say, boy, it's hot out here. So, you know, <laughs> Depending on what you want to play in that particular scene, it's just uh, you have like a hundred different ways to portray your character. So, and they left it pretty much up to me how, I mean, or what those choices were that I wanted to make. And I also had, in many ways, control over the script. So if there was a scene where I didn't feel comfortable with the lines that were written, I say, hey, Jeff, or hey, Paul, hey, Lex, depending on who wrote the script. Uh, can we change the scene, maybe, or just a little bit, like, whatever Zev is saying. It's not really her character, or this just doesn't fit the particular situation. So, can I say maybe this or that? And uh, in most cases, they would agree. Did you ever do any ad living that they left in? Any of your lines in there? Maybe you flubbed a line and they left it in because it was better than what was written. Um, oh yeah, that, that happens, happens all the time. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, like it. usually like on the day, we're always changing something. You know, uh -huh. the, that just pops up in your head or all of a sudden you feel like saying it a little differently and then they like it better. Yeah, that happens all the time. But the second part of the question regarding um, if I could play director. Fortunately, I got the chance to uh, play director in one episode um, when we were out in Namibia because uh, Paul, who was originally uh, directing that episode, um, I, I forgot what it was, like when we were out in the desert of Namibia, um, and I had those really great scenes with uh, Nigel Bennett oh, playing on the beach. Prince. Um, not on the beach, because uh, the beach scenes mostly were the ones when he was with Stanley. But with me, he was in the dead hot desert, and. Uh, and we were talking about uh, about death and the fear of death. And I was telling him about the nature of the cluster lizard. So like, he had not known my true nature, really. And uh, it was a really great scene. I mean, a, a few scenes. But um, so I was fortunate to be able to direct those scenes because Paul Donovan was gone. Because all of a sudden, um, his wife uh, was giving birth to her third child, I think, by then second or third child I think and uh, so he had to leave go to Canada earlier than expected and and, and I was director. sick in the episode like earlier so I flew in when he was already gone ah. yeah so that was a great opportunity and it worked out well speaking of being sick excess for Zever has picked up that girl town was rewritten because of a sickness right and how was that written rewritten he asks <laughs> Um, I mean, originally, I just talked to Ellen about this because we both said, ah, oh, too bad that we couldn't do the episode like in the way it was originally planned. Um, because, yeah, I got, in fact, pretty ill and I had to go to the hospital and had surgery and it was not exactly a pleasant time, but... Um, so Stanley got in with Queen. Yeah, exactly. So originally, like, it was going to be Zef and Queen mm -hmm. going to have, like, a nice, nice little session in the bathtub. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that would have been fun. Yeah. So, on to the next question. Kyla Cat asks, which of your costumes were your favorite? The season two or the season three version? And how did you like your hair? <laughs> okay. Well, I, like I've said in, uh, in other interviews or even on, on the panels here during the convention, it was my choice when I came on to the show um, to uh, to make her look not just like a pretty another pretty blonde girl um, because Eva was very pretty and with her blonde slash bluish hair and uh, and with her light light baby blue costume did you feel a little nervous filling her shoes 
when you no. first put on the costume? No, I did not because by then I had completely planned out like how I wanted this character to uh, to start all, all over and since I knew it was pretty much a new creation since she came out of this goo <laughs> helped by Laika um, so I thought no it's really a new character it just has the same name written differently um, no I wasn't all that nervous no I mean of course you never know if the audience will just uh, accept you as well as your former character or the former actress who played that character um, that you just never know but I, I, I knew I needed to make a brave choice um, regarding the look so I said no I don't want her to be just pretty I want the audience to either accept me because the way she is now is just different and better from what she was before or more exciting in, in different ways and uh, so I didn't want to just win by being another nice looking girl so um, yeah and that's why I said well just give her a little funkier look and so really concentrate on her character for a while you know on her goofiness on her innocence on her craziness on her sense of humor on her you know like the whole development she, she was pretty much like a newborn just right away in the body of a, whatever mid-20s girl yeah the tattoo really refined it in season three season three exactly because i mean yeah we created this costume because we said well what would she wear like when she's coming out there there's no fabric she couldn't have like a nice baby blue baby doll that eva was wearing what's on the ship so I said, well, we need to have some material that's believable, so we'll make it from the legs. So we said, okay, well, we'll take, we'll make it from leather. So suede leather it was, well, you know well. <laughs> and uh, so that idea worked well. And we said, well, it should also look like a cluster lizard because that's part of her nature. So that would make sense. Um, and uh, so that's where the airbrush came in. It Is was there any relics of the insect civilization in that costume? That looked pretty hard, and I think... Um, you see, you see the cluster lizard um, skin. Skin, yes. yeah. That's it. Yes. Yeah. That was uh, yeah, pretty much all we wanted part. to just yeah. put in there. Just the skin. Um, so it was more believable than her just finding. Oops! Someone forgot a costume here on this ship. You know. So that's where I came from. So that was my idea, and um, and Paul thought that was a good idea. So we had great creators for this costume. I mean, the designers were just brilliant. But it was a very heavy costume and very thick layer. So it made me look much bigger than I was, in fact. And this red wig, it had good days and bad days. I hated it on most of them. <laughs> but um, it looked, uh, yeah, sometimes cute and sometimes So that was your terrible. hair in episode uh, season three. Pretty much all your hair with some Yeah, some yeah with uh, some uh, funky extensions, I said, well, season three, let's just get rid of the middle part of this costume, let's rip out the mid-draft part, and, and, because uh, it was so hot when we started over again, I said, like, oh, please, I need to get rid of this, just give me some air, and it worked out well, because it looked, I think, much better in season three than it did in season two, and uh, I was very happy to go back to my natural hair, because by then I already knew the audience had accepted me for what I was, so I said, well, you know, now it's easy to come back to what maybe I would be more about or what I would like better. So, and the more natural it, or the closer it came to, to looking like me, the better I felt at least, you know. So Season the three were fine. is my personal favorite yeah, mine too. of your work. And you, you. your character was very strong, especially in episodes like Gondola, where you kicked Kai oh, yeah. off the precipice. <laughs> Did you have fun doing that? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Whenever I could kick someone, I had fun, but... Uh, Did you want to really kick Stan off? <laughs> <laughs> Although I had fun, I mean, in Love Grows, I had a lot of fun, oh. too. That was season two, but... <laughs> yeah, it you was, it was just real big fun to, to be a man for a day, uh -huh. or two, or three, or eleven. How many how many days had one of the episodes? I probably seven. <laughs> and you worked with Root in Boomtown. Right. And did you have any special chemistry with Root, or was it all your, all your own acting? Do you develop a chemistry with these actors, or is it it's a lot of... Um, it's good or bad acting. Good, good <laughs> or bad acting. Yeah. And we really didn't really have time to develop any kind of chemistry, because uh, like a lot of times the guest actors just fly in, fly out. 
So you meet on the day, you say, hey, this is what my character is about, uh, let's just get on to it, you know, and then you just, while you are filming, you get a feel for what they are trying to do or, and you, you know, you just, uh, you go along each other, which is nice. And of course, a lot of times they would just refer strongly or be, um, you know, you're re referring to us because they they know that we know what everything is about. So um, they did take. Did you have to help them along a little bit, maybe? Uh, yeah, we probably sometimes pointers. did. Yeah, whenever we were asked to, then of course we would. <laughs> okay. So, how did you like filming in um, in the locations? They were fun. You actually went on location in Thailand. Absolutely. I mean, season two was not so much location shooting, uh, but season three and especially four, we did travel a lot. And I mean, first of all, it was fun to shoot in Nova Scotia and meet all those beautiful people there. And I uh, got to find out that Canadians are just incredibly nice. I mean, because until then I had only known Americans because, uh, well, I, I don't know why, but I've always been, um, since I was uh, a teenager, I've always been in contact with several Americans uh, and um, so but I didn't know that there was still such a somehow such a big difference between Americans and Canadians you know and uh, I mean I've always been treated very nicely in the States um, and people are incredible there too but just Canadians there's some, something special about them <laughs> in many ways I thought they are just too nice they can't be just as nice because I mean Germans are not that nice Everybody knows that, of course. <laughs> they always have the reputation of being really rude. Maybe now our um, soccer World Cup like helped a little bit yeah, to that, get yeah, rid yeah. of that reputation because it worked out really nicely and everybody felt very happy in Germany. So. You said that the co-production was working for you. With yeah, the co-production was really great. Um, uh, yeah, I said that on a panel that it's, uh, in many aspects, it's, it's just a brilliant thing to do because you get like a mix, the mix of cultural cultures and uh, and um, also different ways of, of acting. Like German actors usually are tra trained differently than Americans or Canadians or British actors, and so the mix of that is just great. Like everybody approaches his parts differently, and um, so you just get to learn so much. I mean, it's very beneficial, I think, for everybody. And I would vote for doing more co-productions. <laughs> so it was great, I mean, to shoot in Nova Scotia, but then the traveling part was, of course, like, delicious for all of us. And I was very uh, fortunate to be uh, on Tortola Island um, and in Arizona, supposed to be Texas. <laughs> um, and we went to South uh, Africa, What was your, favorite, Africa, episode? your favorite place to film? Um, Japan was very intense. Because I only had a rough idea how Japan would be like, because I was supposed to go when I was a model, go to Japan to stay there for three or four months, and I didn't go because I was too scared. Because I had always heard all those stories about how rude again, how rude Japanese people were, and that you were just like another piece of meat. <laughs> and uh, so when I finally got to go there, it was a really like a very very different experience. I mean, nothing like it was in my imagination. It was beautiful really was like especially the countryside where we got to shoot Tokyo was also very intense because you have this like you have all those modern skyscrapers but then you have those very old buildings that were built I don't know two three hundred years ago and it's just such a huge contrast I mean even more than I know from Germany where we also of course have very old buildings from 1600s and then uh, modern buildings of course but um, but there it was just, uh, of course, the whole architecture is something that we are not used to. So those traditional houses were very, very great. And then Thailand was beautiful, but I had known Thailand from traveling. I've been there before, before. and it was really, really, really nice too. And uh, the same, like Thailand, I mean, the people in, in Thailand were incredibly nice and beautiful and very sweet. Well, last couple of questions, <laughs> and they have to do with a continuation of Lex. Cesar asks about a prequel where you would work in a pre I worship his shadow life as part of a, an insect, insect civilization and actually develop more of that backstory 
And then Katana asks if you would reprise your role um, if Lex were given the green light to be to be re made as a movie or mm -hmm. a feature film. Mm -hmm. Would you do that? Yeah. Most actresses would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right away. You're still keeping another one of your costumes yeah. that you have. Yeah. And Michael McManus kept his. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to. I mean, I will never give that away. Who knows? Maybe the occasion will come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, um, well, I was actually, like, a lot of fans had asked me, like, well, will there be a movie? And I said, well, I have tried for a couple of years to talk to Alliance Atlantis uh, about the rights and what the situation is like because I had um, one guy in San Diego who um, had like quite a bit of money and who was willing to invest or even like be a huge part of the producing, uh, involved in the producing, if we wanted to make this movie, like a feature movie. And uh, unfortunately, um, no one at Alliance Atlantis who uh, bought the rights from Salter Street um, was able to uh, to tell me anything if they were able to or if they were willing to. Like no one seemed to mm -hmm. be. No one seemed to care. Yeah, no one seemed to care. No one seemed to be the right person, and no one seemed to have the responsibility, which was weird. Did so you... it's still up in the air. It is still up in the air. Maybe you want to in jump fact, in there. In fact, Lex.com is actually in delinquency right now, hmm. and it has not been renewed. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, there are a whole bunch of things that could happen with that domain name. Right. It could actually, if it's not bought by a fan, it could be bought by a porn star, <laughs> Amanda Lex, hypothetically speaking, mm -hmm. because Atlantis, Atlantis is really dropping the ball. Yeah. And you need to do something about that. Well, we're Maybe going you to, will have the power. We're going to take a take a shot at getting that, and and uh, it's going to go up for bid here in the next few weeks. Yeah. So we'll put in a, a good bit. So I would say, I think that there's one more question, yeah. and it has to do with um, what you're doing now, currently, and your future plans. Um, do you have plans to come to the States, work a little bit? Are you, I know that you you talk to you about movies, and your resume has been going around a little bit. Right, yeah, I mean, I, I still have my agent in Los Angeles, and like in most cases, an agent is never happy when, uh, especially a woman at some point says, well, actually, I'm going to have a baby, so they were like, hmm, well, that's great for you, but, uh, well, are you going to come back? And I said, yeah, I'll be, I'll be back for sure, I just want to have, like, take, like, one year off, because I think it's an important year, like, the first baby year um, to mother and child, especially. And uh, I said, I'll be back after a year. And I called my agency and I let them know, well, I'm back. I'm back in my own sh old shape because that's what most people are worried about right away, especially in Los Angeles. Like, oh my God, she got a baby. She's probably fat and ugly now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so no, I weigh less than I did before. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I did let them know. And uh, of course, it's still just a matter of finding the right parts because since I'm not the all American girl next door, I couldn't play like like the average part. I still can't because of my accent. And um, my accent of course gets stronger the further away I am from the States. And then when I'm back in the States for a few weeks, then it, it gets yeah. better again. You <laughs> it sound just exactly like, that, you, like you were in the series. So. Right? It doesn't sound any, any <laughs> thicker to us. <laughs> All right. Isn't that um, right, Greg? Well. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I want to be back, that's for sure. And uh, I also have a new agent in, in my own country, in, in Germany. But for some reason, I still don't feel that I want to be working a whole lot in Germany. Because it just feels like I don't belong there. Although I live there now, I feel very much drawn towards the States and to Canada again. So that's hopefully where all something the big good will happen. Happening. Stargate <laughs> would be. An amazing show if you were on it, even yeah. in a guest role. I wouldn't mind. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a guest part on Star. Yeah, I'm starting it. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, let's hope that so let's you can hope come that back to this convention in a year with a good new part. Let's hope and, so. <laughs> and until it's all across our eyes. <laughs> oh, was well, it? What was it? Toes, fingers. Cross our fingers and toes. So, thank you for taking the time out. 
No and problem. You're welcome. Spending some time with the fans. Yeah. And this interview will be Hello available to on the way. All of you guys out there, I love you and uh, bear with me and I hope I'll be back at some point soon. <laughs> okay, bye.